there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com and today I'm going to be sharing a review of this new book from David and Charles Publishing called Kawaii Crochet Garden by Melissa Bradley. Now this book contains 40 super cute amigurumi patterns for plants and more and so today I'll be going through uh, what my experience was with the book as well as giving you a sneak peek at some of the patterns that are included in the book. So if you're ready to get started please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. So I have reviewed a book previously by Melissa Bradley called um, Kawaii Crochet and it's kind of funny. I was setting up to do this video and my husband was like, haven't you done this book before? And I was like, no. I said, actually, it's a, a book, a new book by the same author I did a review for a little while ago. And, um, uh, and it's kind of funny. I just love how, um, distinct the branding is for these books by M Melissa Bradley. The fact that my husband, husband doesn't crochet and can very quickly identify that this book is something that, you know, I've done before and is in line with um, her branding. So I really like it. Her books are always really, really cute. And I'm going to uh, sh talk to you about uh, what's inside. So here in the book here, um, Melissa seems to really uh, have a passion for color. And you see that in her patterns as they come to life, you're turning the pages and it just the color just pops off the page. It just invites you in to make some, some of these fun little toys. Now, um, when I say she loves colors, because all of her books, and, and this is no exception, are uh, broken down into colors. So all of the pink patterns, the patterns that use the pink yarn would be in the pink section, oranges in the orange section, and so on. Now, there are um, a few pages here, and I'll skip forward here there's tools and materials, but there are a few pages here on color theory that I always find really interesting and uh, as well were included in her last book, Kawaii Crochet. And if you're somebody that really struggles with trying to find the perfect colors for your projects, then uh, I really found this helpful the first time I'd seen something similar to this in her books. And uh, so if you're, if, trying, if you're struggling to find colors that work read through these couple of pages and, and it can help you uh, be more mindful and pick your colors a uh, little more mindfully and, and have more success in matching those colors later. Now, here it is. I also love these really fun illustrations that we see throughout the book. And the one of the things that caught my eye was that the skill level is broken down into beginner, easy and intermediate. Uh, skill levels and they're all illustrated throughout the book with these little seeds or seedlings if you will and so as you're going through the book you look at your pattern and if you see this little guy with just the seed he's a beginner pattern a uh, little start of a seedling here is an easy and a fully rooted seed with a sprout here is an intermediate level pattern so reading through the patterns they are very clear and straightforward easy to understand especially if you're used to crocheting amigurumi. Melissa uses a very accessible style in her writing, and I really find her crochet patterns enjoyable. This is my favorite in the whole book here. I think it's called a, I'm going to murder it probably, uh, Coleus. Yeah, Coleus, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm probably just butchering the word, but the patterns in here are adorable. And what I love about them is that if they all have these little uh, cute little kawaii faces, very easy, simple embroidery, small safety eyes. But if you omit the safety eyes and the embroidery, you've got yourself a really beautiful little plant like this little cactus here. So whether or not you're um, wanting to make this for a child or if you just want to make this as a gift, like one of these projects for a gift, I think these would be great. I personally am making this one here for uh, a friend and I'm just leaving out the safety eyes and the embroidery and it's a beautiful um, plant that I know that she's going to love to keep on her desk. Now in the resource section here at the back of the book, we'll do a quick flip through here. I really like the amount of resources that are included in this book. Uh, we've got terminology, conversion from US to UK, um, 
terminology because the book is written in the U.S. terminology. Then there's even a, a small section on how to read her patterns, how to modify designs. Then there's uh, your basic stitches, and they include a lot of other stitches and tutorials. There's not a ton of pictures included. Uh, some of them could use another photo or two in order to uh, more clearly get the point across. But overall, these are really clearly explained, especially if you're already uh, familiar with crochet. You might not even need those images at all to support you. Uh, there's even a section on color work and stuffing your toys. Overall, I think it's really, really uh, well thought out and every effort has been made to support the makers as much as possible. I even noticed that a gauge was given for each pattern in the book, which is one of my major hang-ups when I see a book that gives you an amount of yarn to use and all of your materials, but it doesn't give you the gauge. The gauge is given in every single pattern, which is great. However, they don't give you any information on how to measure gauge, which um, I wish had been included. It's not a make or break it because most of these patterns, the uh, gauge information isn't going to matter unless you're really tight on yarn or you're expecting your toy to turn out a very specific size because all of these patterns use the same uh, materials throughout most of the projects. Gauge isn't really going to be an issue for you. But overall, I really loved this book. If you're an amigurumi maker or you're like me and you are a notorious plant killer and you just want to have some really cute plants around the house that you know are going to survive your love, um, then I really suggest that you check out Kawaii Crochet Garden. It's a really adorable book and uh, I know that I'm personally going to be using this for uh, quite a while. So if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave that in the comment section below. If you have experience with this book, I'd love if you shared your experience with our community in the comment section below. So that way everybody can learn from a variety of different experiences. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. And if you're looking for a full list of of patterns available in this book, you can find the full pattern list over on my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.